With declaration of entities, you can do a standard declaration of entities, in this case like we did on the left here, where you declare the entity and you reference it using an ampersand. Um, there's also an option called parameter entities, and parameter entities are an alternate way of declaring and referencing entities. So we'll dive into that with this lab. Okay, so we jumped into the lab. Let's go ahead and click on view details. We, we click check stock and that sends that XML post body. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll copy this general entity declaration here just for ease and let's break this down. Okay, so our payload here declares our doc type and declares an entity test that points to our exploit server. We need to make this point to our collaborator server. So let's go ahead and pull up collaborator, copy to clipboard and we'll paste the collaborator URL here. And this is an external entity because of the word system. So when referenced, it should point to our collaborator servers. If I send that, we get no error because we declared the entity, but we didn't reference it. So if you reference it here, ampersand test, you'll see the application response with an error. Entities, entities aren't allowed for security reasons. So what's happening is there's either a blacklist or some type of XML parser configuration that's preventing us from declaring general entities within the XML document. But we can alternatively use what are called parameter entities. And the only difference is we can basically reference this entity within this doc type. So what we can do instead is instead of referencing it here, what we do is within the entity declaration, we go ahead and add a percent sign right before the actual name of the entity. And then before the closing of this doc type, what we can do is we can go ahead and reference that here. So percent test semicolon. And then when we send that, so you can see that we still got that callback from the server, which is great. So even though the application had preventions in place that didn't allow for us to reference entities within the XML document, we're actually able to use parameter entities to reference these entities within the doc type. So it's a way to bypass some black, some blacklists to be come across that. So if you ever come across this, you're able to declare entities, but you're not able to reference them. You might want to try parameter entities to see if that works instead. Well, that's all I got for this video. If you want any more from me, you can check me out on twitch.tv forward slash gar underscore seven. Every Monday and Thursday, I do educational live streams and giveaways, so I'd love to see you there. If you learned something from this video, or if you have any feedback at all, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. But other than that, hope to see you next time. Thanks again.